Hi, welcome to Power BI Learning Module. Yeah, so let's get started with Power BI. This is the latest analytics tool launched in the market by Microsoft. Power BI is the best analytics tool Microsoft has ever created so far. Before beginning with Power BI, let's take a step back and observe the events that led to the creation of this technology. So to keep up with the data analytics demand, Microsoft has uh, released Power Query and Power Pivot plugins for Excel in year 2010. So using these plugins, one can do data transformations, data uh, calculations and create reports again using Excel report stack and uh, utilize them. It served the purpose at certain level but had the shortcomings like collaboration and publishing to wide audience. Same year, uh, Microsoft has started cloud initiatives and uh, released applications uh, like Azure and a year later uh, Office 365. So this is a time where SaaS applications, software as a service was getting popular, were getting popular. And in year 2012, uh, to participate in the evolution of in-memory analytics era, Microsoft launched PowerView along with uh, SQL Server database. Uh, so this is a time where uh, in-memory analytics were getting popular like Tableau, ClickQ, Tipco, Spotfire. So to keep, to, keep, to keep up with them, Microsoft has launched PowerView. It, uh, it, it had its popularity for a while, but uh, due to its very dependent nature on SharePoint and SQL Server, uh, made it unapproachable for many users. As part of uh, Microsoft's cloud uh, initiatives and uh, its cloud-first promotions, it got a lot of uh, cloud user base. Now it has PowerView as uh, in-memory analytics and then there are uh, Power Query and Power Pivot for uh, Excel users. So Microsoft had to converge at some point uh, where it had to uh, dissolve all this and bring them into a unified reporting platform yeah and also to take advantage of rapidly growing analytics market in 2014 power bi was launched as a cloud-based service and is initially offered only for office 365 users it quickly gained its popularity and became one of the best emerging technologies in bi market so in 2015, a year later, Microsoft made it available for everyone uh, along with a free desktop client for developers. So Power BI is actually a combination of Power Query, Power Pivot and Power View. These three technologies are merged and produced as Power BI. And this is, this is SaaS application, software as a service. So this is all cloud centric. Let us understand further why one should go for Power BI. Uh, as I said, so Power BI is a cloud centric platform. So one can create, deploy and publish all the applications from this cloud service. So now we are living in the time of full, fully matured self sustainable cloud applications. Most of the organizations are preferring to work and store data on cloud platforms than ever before considering ease of access across and uh, cross location collaboration zero in from maintenance and overall reduced IT costs so the SaaS applications I mean software as a service applications like Salesforce good data redshift from Amazon Zoho they all gain wide popularity so power BI as a cloud-based service by itself has excellent support for all these data platforms one can quickly get data and start building analytics with just a subscription to any of these apps, cloud apps. Apart from this connectivity to cloud applications, it got wide range of uh, connectors to connect to different kind of data sources like uh, data warehouses, files, ERP systems, cubes. You can just get data and start building analytics. It has it, it is one of the best in industries in terms of connecting to the different uh, databases data sources 
Along with the connectivity to cloud applications, Power BI also has an option to work with on-premise premise databases or cubes. Without moving entire enterprise data to cloud, one can create dashboards to leverage on both uh, data coming from cloud applications and on-premises data servers. So it's a blend of both the platforms. What Microsoft innovatively has done has, uh, for the first time, it has opened up uh, its entire visualization stack to uh, open community. So Power BI visualization framework, visualization framework is outsourced. So on top of its existing stack of visualizations, a, loot, uh, a lot of new visualizations are being contributed by open community. Uh, one can very easily download any of these custom uh, visualizations and start building dashboards or analytics. It's just a simple plug and play. I'm just showing the community, the custom visualizations community. It is going rapidly. Every now and then someone's contributing to this, uh, this uh, stack. You see? We already know bar charts, pie charts and also on top of this we have visuals like this. We can plug in them into our Power BI and start building them. This is all open source. So this keep keep evolving. At some time you'll have best in class visualizations for Power BI. Okay. Uh, Power BI integration is very effortless. Uh, we can easily share analysis uh, in Power BI. There are many ways in which one can share their analytics. W uh, one way is end users can directly log into Power BI cloud service and browse intended reports. Second way is one can publish to the web. A URL can be generated to the analytics file and shared across internet. Anyone with that URL can browse our uh, reports. The third way is one can directly integrate uh, Power BI analytics into any third party applications or uh, existing reporting platforms. Dashboards can be even embedded into a simple HTML websites as a high frame. So integration and distributions is very easy. It's best in standard in market. And now the uh, differentiating factor, the unique factor. So far, no BI tool has done that. So the human computer interaction, uh, exploring your data using natural query languages. So Power BI loaded uh, analytics for SaaS applications. So this is one of the cloud based applications, uh, GitHub, where data uh, code being hosted yeah, is an open source tool. Uh, if you just have a subscription to that and log into that, this, these are these are the set of analytics you get uh, auto rendered in Power BI. Uh, so you don't need to start start from scratch. You already get something and then you modify, you recreate, uh, enhance them. Yeah, you can start on. You don't need to start from zero ground level. This is good 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 part of uh, Power BI preloaded analytics for SaaS applications. Yeah, so the important factor that I was talking uh, uh, talking about, human-computer interaction, exploring data using natural query language. So this is how it looks. So you can actually type in questions like that. What segment had the most revenue? It will give you a visualization. So there is no uh, visualization created for that kind of question already. So you don't need to uh, create, recreate, redesign, uh, re-modify your existing applications this this if you expose this future uh, power bi natural language query then end users can directly type in whatever they have in their mind and can view uh, visualizations like this percentage delayed arrivals by airline you see uh, it has auto intelligence as in then you type it will keep populating the data fields that are there in, in the underlying data you can decide on which kind of chart you want to see data so this is all possible with uh, 
power bi uh, so this is a vague architecture the workflow of power bi so we have different connectors from where we can bring data so all these connectors will utilize so this is a power bi service cloud service uh, and then um, from there reports gets published no matter what the application is what, what the device is whether it be uh, a desktop or a pc i mean laptop mobile device we have apps for mobile devices as well one can comfortably access their uh, dashboards irrespective of irrespective of the platform they are in apart from uh, cloud applications uh, we can also get data from organization um, local data on premise databases and create gateways so it can get data from both the platforms and still produce analytics so these are different components of power bi so these are four different components of power bi uh, so power bi service this is what i was talking about all this time power bi cloud service uh, so this is power bi cloud service so this is how it looks like so here we have dashboards reports one can publish create view analyze data you can do this is this is power bi and then uh, we we have power bi desktop so all of this functionality is now available on on a desktop client so this is an author tool uh, uh, in other words it is called as id integrated development environment so we can design up uh, dashboards there we can design our analytics we can connect to all data and once the development is done we can deploy that into this cloud service so anybody with uh, subscriptions to this cloud service can view your analytics so this is another component of power bi power bi desktop similarly we have uh, a power bi mobile client for developing mobile applications and a gateway tool a gateway tool for uh, uh, blending data coming from uh, both uh, on premise and on cloud so this is your desktop client this is how it looks it has uh, uh, some uh, beginner tutorials to start up uh, there is a good forum where you can um, post questions doubts and then get answered uh, there are blogs ongoing technical blogs tutorials well put up tutorials one can easily start with uh, using this desktop client and build analytics okay so once the analytics building is done then he can publish that to the cloud service this is how the cloud service looks like okay so this is all subscription based uh, each user uh, has to have their own subscription to access power bi applications so these are the four components of power bi it's a the best thing of power bi is it's keep evolving every month there is a release there is an update uh, there is a new enhancement or new feature being added to the power bi so it's keep evolving and bringing in best in class features so some of the best features i have discussed already in this presentation